Hey short scalers, I'm going to do a demo of my basement amp, uh, 6768 right around there. And I'm going to be using my parts caster duo sonic. I'm going to have it on the neck pickup, which is a lace sensor red. Uh, the bridge pickup is some sort of an original 5960 duo sonic styled bridge pickup. Basically, I'm in the normal input on the second one. My volume is at 2, my treble's at 5, and my bass is at 5. Now with both pickups. Not just a bridge pickup. Now I'm going to play with the treble and the bass a little bit so you get an idea. Um, it's not like, you know, there's a big difference between 5 and 6, but it's nice that there's a gradual change and it doesn't just jump at you. And I'll show you why I appreciate that about the treble and the bass here in a second. Alright. I'm going to move the treble up all the way to 10. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I can still get a lot of the low end, even with the treble cranked up. It doesn't take away from the bass at all. It's just fantastic. I'm going to turn that back down to five. Now I'm going to turn the bass up. And the camera probably doesn't pick it up, but yeah, I, you can really feel it. Um, by the way, these aren't the original 212s. They're uh, Celestian Vintage 30s, which I particularly like. I think they sound really, really nicely paired with this amplifier and this cabinet. But I've heard other people say that they don't like them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to roll that back to 5. I'm going to show you what this little bright switch does. It's kind of like the Jaguar switch, how it has that bass cut. Um, except I don't see myself ever actually engaging it and using it and thinking about using it. So, normal. Now back to the original. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's nice to have that there, and it is kind of cool, and there may be a different guitar or a different style of playing, depending on what your effects are. It could come out, you know, really, really, really interesting. Now, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to show everyone what daisy chaining or chaining the amplifier sounds like or does, because there's been a couple questions recently about it. Now, I'm going to hope that this cable works. But basically, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to plug into the bass input. I'm going to turn it all the way down, so that way I don't get any hissing, popping, feedback, and anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the first input. the cable was broken so that's that's fantastic I have a lot of broken cables and I just didn't check it before I put it in so I'm not going to show you what daisy chaining is
so F off. But what I was talking about with these two being nice and gradual, is if you notice, the volume, it jumps a lot. And I've tried cleaning it a couple times, and I think it might just be the circuitry. By the way, this is an AB165 circuit. I'm not even at three yet. That's already loud enough to compete in most clubs and bars. Now I'm at three, and if you can't hold your own with a drummer, then I, I don't know. That's... And just for shits and giggles, I'm going to go to five. using the bridge pickup and turning this bad boy up to about eight um, because it's such a low output pickup and such a high output amplifier I think it really complements each other and you get that great growl to it mm -hmm. 